sale is made on every call you make. Either you sell the client some stock, or he sells you on a reason he can't. Either way, a sale is made. The only question is, who's going to close? You or him? Uh, be relaxed. Um, hello, Mr. Belfort. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I have one question, and I'm a huge fan of your film. So this just um, comes quite naturally. Can you please sell me this pen? <laughs> <laughs> You know, no one's ever asked me that before. It's the first time. <laughs> um, so let me, let me tell you what that whole exercise really stands for, right? So the whole sell me this pen narrative is really, it's a test that you give to a salesman to see if they really understand what selling is all about. If you ask someone who's not a professional salesman, who doesn't have the right instincts, they'll start actually trying to sell you a pen. This pen is great. This pen writes upside down. It's the best value for its money. This pen will last forever. Here, buy this pen. Here's the thing. The only one rational thing you could do when someone says, sell me this pen, and that is to start asking them questions. So tell me, how long have you been in the market for a pen? What type of pens have you used in the past? Is it business or personal? Typically when you buy a pen, what type of money do you spend on one? Do you buy expensive pen? I, you, the, the, the key to selling is to find out, step one, what are your clients' needs, values, what pain are they looking to resolve? What, what do they need? And you look at the fill that need at the most basic level, right? Well, when you just go out and try to sell something, someone, what you're saying is, I don't give a shit about you. I'm just going to ram this down your throat, right? I want to know what you need. I want to know what you've done in the past. So you ask questions. If I ask someone, hey, so how long have you been in the market for a pen? And they say, oh, I'm not looking for a pen. Great. Have a nice day. I don't sell people the things that people are looking for. I wouldn't try to sell you a pen if you're not looking to buy a pen. So that's, and if someone said to me, I'd say, wow, this person really knows how to sell. Because the biggest mistake that rookie sales would make is they try to sell to everybody versus weeding out people who are not interested and only selling to those who are. So I ask questions, but not any question. I ask pointed questions to identify what type of pens you use in the past, how much money you have. Now the pen is like a euphemism for any product, right? By doing that, I can get a good sense of what you're about. And then when I'm done asking my questions and I know what I need to know, I'll say, well, based on what you said to me, this pen is a perfect you let me tell you why and now i'm actually matching my pen to what you need and i tailor my presentation to fill that name and it's much more elegant make sense yes okay, thank great. you there it is now that's the total price sir and we can guarantee delivery within two weeks this is a little higher than i expected i'm not sure i want to pay this much <clears throat> well ours is the best product on the market i think you know that now i don't know it's a lot of money. Still, it's something we really need. Well, suppose you go ahead and sign this purchase order and I'll just send it in for approval. Excuse me. What are you so nervous about? I uh, dropped my pen. Look, suppose you call me next week. I'll think about it and give you an answer then. Uh, sure, whatever you say. I'll call you the first part of the week. How's that? Okay. Tell me, why didn't you make the second effort? Uh, beg pardon? Do you always give up that easily? No. I mean, uh, well, you said that... Forget what I said. If you were determined enough, you would have made the sale. I don't know what to say, Mr. Lombardi. Don't say anything. Just...